internship opportunities in 500 top companies to one crore youth in five years, they will gain they will gain exposure for 12 months to real-life business environment, varied professions, and employment opportunities. An internship allowance of 5,000 per month, 5,000 rupees per month, along with a one-time assistance of 6,000 rupees will be provided. Companies will be expected to bear the training cost and 10% of their internship cost from their CSR funds. Industrial parks. Our government will facilitate development of investment-ready, plug-and-play industrial parks with complete infrastructure in or near 100 cities in partnership with the states and private sector by better using town planning schemes. Twelve industrial parks under the National Industrial Corridor Development Program also will be sanctioned. No, Rental housing. Rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be just one minute. Rental housing, I repeat, rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be facilitated in PPP mode with VGF support and commitment from anchor industries. Shipping industry, ownership, leasing and flagging reforms will be implemented to improve the share of Indian shipping industry and generate more employment. Critical mineral mission. We will set up a critical mineral machine, mission for domestic production, recycling of critical minerals and overseas acquisition of critical mineral assets. Its mandate will include technology development, skilled workforce, extended producer responsibility, uh, extended producer responsibility framework and a suitable financing mechanism. Offshore mining of minerals. Our government will launch the auction of the first tranche of offshore blocks for mining building on the exploration already carried out. Digital public infrastructure applications. Turning to the services sector, I propose development of DPI applications at population scale for productivity gains, business opportunities, and innovation by the private sector. These are planned in the areas of credit, e-commerce, education, health, law and justice, logistics, MSME service delivery, and urban governance. Integrated technology platform for IBC ecosystem. An integrated technology platform will be set up for improving the outcomes under the Insolvency Bankruptcy Code for achieving consistency, transparency, timely processing, and better oversight for all stakeholders. Voluntary closure of LLPs. The services of the Center for Processing Accelerated Corporate Exit, CPAS, will be extended for voluntary closure of LLPs to reduce the closure times. National Company Law Tribunals. The IBC has resolved more than 1,000 companies, resulting in direct recovery of 3.3 lakh crore to creditors. 3.3 lakh crore rupees to creditors. In addition, 28,000 cases involving over 10 lakh crore rupees have been disposed of even prior to admission. Appropriate changes to the IBC, reforms and strengthening of the tribunal and appellate tribunals will be initiated 
to speed up insolvency resolution, additional tribunals will be established. Out of those, some will be notified to decide cases exclusively under the Companies Act. Debt recovery. Steps for reforming and strengthening debt recovery tribunals will be taken. Additional tribunals will be established to speed up recovery. Priority five, urban development. Cities as growth hubs. Working with states, our government will facilitate development of cities as growth hubs. This will be achieved through economic and transit planning and orderly development of peri-urban areas utilizing town planning schemes.